mentally, like it just did not seem like it was something that would work for me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here. If you are clicked on this video, then you must be looking for foods to help you lose weight too. Let's just get into these seven things that I use to help me lose 50 pounds. Now hold up, let's just get this out the way. These are the seven foods that helped me to lose weight. These are some quick, simple things that you can do to help get in more nutrients for your body and I just found that they really helped me out and I hope that they help you out too. If they do, feel free to leave a comment below and while you're at it, you might as well just subscribe. I would love to hear from you and let me know like any other things that you're looking for on your weight loss journey and let's get right into these tips. Okay, so the first thing that I can say was the top thing to help me lose 50 pounds was drinking smoothies. I know some people don't really like smoothies, they're controversial sometimes, and people saying that they only have smoothies in their whole diet, look, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying that at all. However, smoothies were the thing that helped me to get in my micronutrients as well as helping me get in protein because I don't get enough. And as I'm talking to more people, they're not getting in enough either. Protein powders in your smoothies really help to make things easier. The top ingredients that I love in smoothies, first of all, spinach as my base. I love a good green smoothie. Sometimes people want just fruit in their smoothies. I have nothing against that, however, for me, just having fruit in my smoothies just was not enough. I needed to get in the vegetables because I'm not a big salad person, so I'm not eating a huge salad every single day. But when I sneak in some carrots and some spinach into my smoothie, along with the other fruits that I'm having, it helps me to have a well-rounded meal first thing in the morning. I could have smoothies throughout the day, anytime, lunch, dinner, snack, whatever. But either way, getting in a smoothie basically every single day, that is what really helped me to lose weight. One thing that really helped me the most about having smoothies basically every single day is that they really helped me to get into the habit of having vegetables any time of the day. But to have vegetables for breakfast time, mentally, like it just did not seem like it was something that would work for me. But when I tried it, I was experimenting more with maybe spinach in my eggs and in my omelets or maybe some mushrooms. That was something that I did not do before having vegetables in my smoothie. Smoothie. When we talk about that mental connection to food and different habits that we create, a habit that can really help you to get more comfortable with having vegetables earlier in the day are smoothies. So the next tip that we're gonna dive into about how I lost 50 pounds was having spinach. I absolutely love spinach. Some people don't really care for dark leafy greens, but studies have shown that dark leafy greens give you those micronutrients that your body needs that can support healthy blood flow, supports the vitamins and the minerals that your body needs. There's a reason that Popeye was always having spinach before he was about to go beat somebody up. Spinach is that thing. It makes you so powerful. It has iron in it. If you are a woman and you have low iron blood account we all know what that does to us it has like low energy levels it can really affect your hormones spinach can really really help you to correct that I know whenever I donate blood I always have a super high iron count because of the amount of spinach that I'm eating every single day not only is spinach versatile in that it can be steamed it can be microwaved it can be in um, cut up and tossed into omelets it can be in smoothies as I mentioned earlier it has all of this versatility when it comes to eating it. I love that spinach is able to remove toxins. It helps with strong blood vessels. It helps with your gum and teeth health. Spinach has so many benefits to it. You need to have it every single day in every single way. You will not regret it. It's not just for Popeye, it's for us too. Okay, so on to the third food that I ate to lose 50 pounds is salmon. If you are vegan and vegetarian, I understand that this food will not be for you. For those of us that do eat meat, salmon is just an amazing, amazing food. It's a fatty fish. So when I say fatty fish, it has those healthy omega-3s that your body needs to support you with your daily processes. And I love that omega-3s can give you like that strength and that energy to support like hard workouts or to support just your everyday functions if you're working out, but also if you're just working from home. Fatty fish can really help you for that. It also helps to reduce the risk of getting high blood pressure or hypertension 
hypertension, as well as having a stroke, certain cancers as well. Again, salmon is versatile as well. If you're not noticing, there's a pattern here. The foods that I'm picking, they all are very versatile. You can have them in multiple ways, and salmon is no different. You can have it baked or sauteed. I love having salmon in salmon nuggets. I'll leave that recipe in the description box. Also, salmon is a great source of protein. If you're looking to kind of switch it up and you're not sure where you want to go with it, a fatty fish like salmon is definitely the place to go. On to my next tip, and that would be yogurt. Specifically, Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is higher in protein than most other yogurts. There are some fortified yogurts that have high amounts of protein, but consistently across brands, you can't really go wrong with a plain Greek yogurt. The reason I choose non-flavored Greek yogurt over other types of yogurt is that when the fruit is already in the packaging, it can be very, very high in sugar. And I love eating sugar, I love eating sweets, but I know that that's not the best for my body. So if I can limit or control the amount of sugar that I'm getting, then that really helps me to get in less sugar where I don't want it and more sugar when I do. Or I end up making my own like yogurt parfaits. I I've done that on my channel several times, but I will leave a video link for that as well. With my Greek yogurt parfaits, I like to add my own fruit to it. It helps to kind of spice up the variety. Also, it's a little cheaper if I am adding my own fruit to it because I can add as much as I want. So it just gives me a lot of options there. With all this inflation, we have to look out for our pockets here. One thing to keep in mind, if you are making any like yogurt parfaits or yogurt bowls, it's really important to control the sugar. So I do add sweeteners. I typically add honey to my yogurt bowl. And if I'm doing that, I like to use a tablespoon, like an actual measuring spoon, and I'll just drizzle that over my uh, yogurt bowl. It is so delicious, it's so good, and it makes my mouth water just to imagine doing that all over again. So we are on to food number five, and that would be chicken breast. Again, something that is very high in protein. I love having thinner cut chicken breasts, so I typically buy the bigger ones and then cut them myself. You get in lean protein, something that helps to build your muscles and support that. I love having chicken breasts in a variety of ways, whether that's on salads or if I am sauteing it, I'm baking it, or roasting chicken, you can poach it and then tear up the meat so that you can have that on salads. I'm always looking for new recipes to try, so if you have any suggestions of how like you make your chicken or how you make your yogurt bowls or salmon, feel free to leave those in the comments. So it would help me out to just switch some things up and I would really appreciate it if you left those. My sixth food that helped me to lose 50 pounds was eating eggs. I absolutely love eating eggs. The more people that I talk about eggs with, the more I realize how many people don't like eggs, but I love them. I grew up eating them in many different ways. I already mentioned omelets, but I'll have them scrambled. I love the fried eggs on top of my avocado toast. But I love having eggs not just for breakfast. I have a soft boiled egg in my salmon nourish bowl recipe. I just love eggs. <laughs> but they are a great way to get in lots of protein as well. The only thing I will say that you should be mindful of the amount of eggs that you are eating if you have any dietary restrictions or if you're on the verge of like high cholesterol and those types of numbers, just be mindful of the amount of eggs that you have. But eggs are just amazing and they're just, again, versatile so that you can put them in pretty much anything. Salads, on top of burgers, eggs can be eaten any time of the day. I love having breakfast for dinner. When I'm doing that, I'll have eggs and pancakes or whatever at the end of the day for dinner and maybe I would have had something else for breakfast. But I just love having that option and switch it up. So my seventh and last food that I ate to lose 50 pounds was eating tuna. And so this is for all of my people who are looking for more variety from just having salmon as a type of fish and you don't really like tilapia, like myself, then having a fatty fish like tuna is just a great way to kind of switch it out from having salmon. Now canned tuna, some people don't like canned foods, but canned tuna still has plenty of protein. It's still very healthy and you don't need to cook anything in order to have it. By itself, one can of tuna is at least 20 grams of protein. Like other foods on this list, 
tuna is very versatile and you can also have it with salads or on sandwiches. The sky is the limit. So that was the last food in my list of the top seven foods that I ate to lose 50 pounds. Some general keys that you'll just notice with this list. One thing is that it's a pretty concise list of seven foods. That's a pretty small number. Now I'm not saying that I only ate these seven foods and I ate absolutely nothing else. Like that would just be crazy. These were like my main staples that I had typically every day. The key with consistency, it gives your body a chance to adapt to whatever types of nutrients that you're giving to it, to feel supported, to feel nourished. And that really worked for me. Consistency helped me to simplify when I was going to the grocery store or if I was eating out, I typically ate the same things when I was eating out just so that I didn't have to wonder if I was going to go too far off of the meal plan that I had set for myself. So I was really trying to uh, simplify it. And with our minds and when we're adopting new habits, simple is so much better than trying to make it complicated. Complications mean that it's less likely for you to follow through with your goals. And I really, really wanted to lose this weight. I just had to trim down the variety that I was eating and give myself time to get used to those things, adapt to them, create a lifestyle with my own habits where I felt comfortable eating these foods no matter where I was. My mind didn't have to struggle or fight with the different options and that helped me to really be consistent and achieve those goals. During this time I also off and on practiced intermittent fasting. I still do it from time to time but I won't say that it's something that's pretty much a staple in my lifestyle right now. I'm eating in a larger time frame window just because of the way my schedule is right now. But at the time, I was eating in an eight hour split from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Before and after those times, I would only drink water and green tea. That was really so that I made sure that I wasn't eating too late. What scares me the most about eating really late at night is that you end up sleeping on undigested food. Your body needs at least two to three hours to digest any food that you put in your body. With me trying to eat at eight o'clock and then go to bed at 10, I didn't really feel like I was giving myself enough time and I just felt really bloated often. Having that type of um, restriction really helped me to digest all of my food way before I was going to bed. Even now, I typically don't eat after seven just to give my body time to digest food. I definitely notice a difference in whether or not I'm feeling bloated. And then my last key here is to have vegetables in every single meal, every single meal. Vegetables are king. I've said this so many times, but I can not say this enough. I know that people just are not getting in enough vegetables, but vegetables can really heal your body. If you would just have the variety in the colors and in the food, you just will not be sorry. So there you have it. I gave you my top foods that I ate to lose 50 pounds, as well as some general keys that I did along with those foods to really help me make that change and lose the weight. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I really hope that I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye guys.